In this video, I will show you how to prepare your Interactive Brokers desktop platform for stock or option trading. The platform is called Trader Workstation. It is a robust platform with dozens, if not hundreds, of floating windows or information spaces. You can pick and choose to make it work for you. But it is easy for you to be overwhelmed by the platform, especially if you have not used it before. When I first downloaded the Interactive Brokers platform onto my PC, I spent about a day trying to understand what data package I should subscribe to for myself. It was many years ago, and I was trading only stocks at that time. Someone told me I needed to subscribe to a data package, but I had no idea which one I should choose, simply because there were just so many of them there, all fulfilling the specific needs of specific traders. Many of them had conditions attached to them, saying you need to have that first if you want to have this. In this video, I will make everything easy for you so that you can focus on your trading instead of trying to find out how the trading platform works. This is all you need when you start with the trader workstation, a watch list, a chart window, an option chain for trading options, an order entry window to buy or sell stocks or options, and a portfolio window to see your holdings and realized or unrealized gains. Once setting these up is done, I will show you exactly what data packages I have subscribed to for myself so that you can choose the same quickly and start trading. Then I will show you how to create your hotkeys for quicker trade executions. Believe me, hotkeys will make your life so much easier as a day trader. I will also show you how to use the Heiken Ashi candle pattern on the chart and apply popular trading indicators like the moving averages. Finally, I will show you how to connect your Interactive Brokers account to TradingView so that you can trade directly from TradingView instead of using the Trader Workstation platform. TradingView is a highly popular platform and you might check out its indicators to help you with preparing a trading strategy. Let's get started. Number 1. The Watch List once you have opened an account with Interactive Brokers and downloaded the Trader Workstation to your computer, this is what you see after logging in to the platform. It is nowhere near where you want it. Notice that there are two tabs at the bottom, Learn and News and Research. They come as default. Click the plus sign after News and Research to add a new layout and call it whatever you like, but I will call it Option Trading since it will have an option chain window for trading options. This is what you get. Click the new window tab on the top menu bar, select watch list from the drop down list, hold it by the top bar, and drag it to the left bottom corner. Make it only a sixth of the page horizontally and a third of the page vertically. We need the space above it for placing a chart. You can rename the watch list by right clicking your mouse and selecting Rename Watch List. Let's rename it Day Trade. To add a stock to the watch list, double click the space at the beginning of the row and type the ticker symbol. I have an empty row here and I will add Tesla to it for you. You can follow me to add any stock you like. Type TSLA and press enter on your keyboard. A small window will open up. Choose stock from it. It is the first choice on the list. Tesla is added. You can remove a stock from the watch list by removing the entire row. To remove a row, click the right button on your mouse, select Remove Row, and you are done. You can also overwrite a stock. Type the new ticker symbol in its place, click Enter, and select Stock from the pop-up window. Number 2. The Chart The chart is at the heart of your trading activities. You cannot be a successful trader by neglecting the chart. Some traders say you do not trade an asset, you trade the chart. They are right. As traders, you do not care what products a company makes, you are interested in its price action. If the chart says there is an opportunity in the market, you enter the market and make the best use of that opportunity. You stay on the side if the chart does not offer you an opportunity. You do not participate in the market action. The trader workstation is not the best trading chart out there, but you will fall in love with it due to its simplicity. Good trades are not in the chart, they are in your brain. Sooner or later, you will have to see through the chart. You will have to see the complex network of the stock market unfold to you 
little by little, and that is when you will become a professional trader, you will become a well-organized trader with an edge over the market. To import your chart to the platform layout, click the new window tab and select chart, and then advanced chart. Place the chart right above the watch list. Make it as big as two-fifths of the width. You can experiment with different elements of the chart by right-clicking anywhere on the chart to select its settings. Toward the end of the video, I will show you how to manipulate the chart by changing candle patterns and using trend indicators. Number 3. Option Chain You need your option chain as part of your layout to trade options. More and more traders are getting into option trading these days. If you are not into options, it is time that you embrace them as part of your trading adventure. If you do not want to sell naked put options because they need to be secured by cash, you may still sell covered calls and buy cheap leaps options to improve your financial solvency. I'm aware of the fact that many traders these days start with a capital of two to five thousand to trade options and only options. Click the new window tab and choose Option Trader from the Option Tools section. Place the window to the right side of your chart to cover the three-fifths of the width. You can make it smaller, but in that case, the Option Expiration tabs will disappear. Let the Options Trader show eight to ten strikes. You will trade at the money options most of the time, so having ten strikes right before your eyes is good enough for your trading. I am making a video on trading options, visualizing some of the easiest but most effective trading strategies. Consider subscribing to my channel so you do not miss the video. You can navigate different expiration dates via the tabs above the option chain. Give the option chain some time to understand what every tab means before starting trading options. You can add or remove tabs by editing columns. Generally speaking, you need to have the last price, bid, ask, volume, and strike price on the option chain. If you trade at the money options, you do not need delta. If you are a swing trader, you may want to choose a 45 to 60 day expiration date. In that case, you need the delta value to make sure you have at least an 80% chance of winning the trade. Number four, order entry. You may add an order entry window to your layout by clicking the new window tab and selecting order entry from the menu. Drag the window by grabbing it by its top bar and place it beside the watch list under the chart. The order entry window will show you only the stock's price by default. To populate it with option prices, you need to double-click the price of an option on the Option Trader window. You can choose whether you want to buy or sell an option, whether you want to trade with a market price or limit price, not to mention how many contracts you want to buy or sell. The order entry window also shows you if a stock is shortable or not. If you are a short seller, you need this information before starting shorting a stock. If the stock is shortable, there will be a bright green dot under the ticker of the stock. If the stock is not shortable, the dot will be red and the words not shortable will be visible. Number five, portfolio. Some traders do not want to view their profit and loss constantly throughout the trading session. They do not make the portfolio a part of their layout. I think it is useful to view your portfolio from time to time, especially if you trade multiple assets at the same time, or if you trade your assets partially. For example, you may trade four contracts of an option to lock in some profit, leaving the fifth contract to run for more profit. Click the new window tab and select portfolio from the menu. Drag the portfolio window to the bottom right of your layout. Extend it to fill the rest of the space. As usual, you can edit the columns to change what you want to see in that window. But as long as you have the name of the equity, holdings, average cost, and realized and unrealized gains, you should be fine. There you go, you just completed setting up your Interactive Brokers Worker Trade Station platform. It was not difficult, was it? But you are still not ready to trade. You need a data subscription package. The price you now see is delayed by 15 minutes. You need real-time data to trade. Never trade on delayed data. You have to log in to your interactive online account to subscribe to a data package. Number six, data subscription. 
These are the packages I subscribe to. You can just follow me unless you have some other needs or you want to trade in a different market. Read them before making a subscription. They are cheap, so it is not a big deal if you make a mistake. You can cancel it next month. What is important is that you sufficiently have what you definitely need. My suggestion is that you understand your strategy and then go back to the data management page to see what extra data you may need to serve that strategy. Number 7. Hotkeys Now that you can start trading on the Trader Workstation, you may want to use hotkeys to execute your trades. Not many traders use hotkeys. Some are afraid of them. Some don't need them because they are swing traders and have all the time in the world to open or close a trade. But I can tell you that you will get used to hotkeys if you know how to plan them. To enable hotkeys, go to File, not to the new window, go to File, and select Global Configuration. From the menu on the left, click Hotkeys. From the right side, double-click on Buy to open the customization window. Click Record under Shortcuts and on your keyboard press Shift and B together. You will see Shift plus B in the text space. Now click the Customize tab. Select Absolute for Size and type 100 for buying 100 shares. For order type, choose MKT, which is the market price. Then select Transmit the order instantaneously to execute the order right away. Finally, click OK to set up your hotkey. In the same way, you can set up Shift plus S for selling your stocks. Hotkeys will need you to do some practice. Practice with a small size, even by buying or selling 5 to 10 shares. Increase the number of shares when you are confident with them. Number 8. Indicators If you are a beginner trader, you may want to use trading indicators in your chart. Three of the most powerful and popular indicators are VWAP, Moving Average, and RSI or Relative Strength Index. I like moving averages. However, you may use a combination of two or two instances of the moving average, one 20 period, and the other 200 period. Believe me, you can make a lot of money by using only moving averages. The main thing is how well you know an indicator and how quickly you can respond to the market when an opportunity pops up. You can add indicators to your trader workstation chart by clicking the Indicators tab at the top of the chart window. Type Moving Average in the search field and select Moving Average from the list below. Click the Moving Average line on the chart to change its length. Click the Inputs tab and change the length from 9 to 25. I like simple moving averages, so I will choose the smoothing line as SMA and the smoothing length at 25. There are a great number of indicators that you can apply to your chart and see if they serve your trading strategy. You can watch this video to see how I use UTBot on TradingView to make predictable trades. Your trades have to be predictable if you want to be profitable as a trader. Follow the link in the description to check out that video. Number 9. Trading View. Interactive brokers entered into a partnership with TradingView recently that shows how they view TradingView as a trading platform. Millions of traders use TradingView every day, looking for an indicator to help them in their trading activities. Connecting to TradingView is easy. Go to tradingview.com, open a chart. Under the chart, there is a trading panel. Under that panel, you will find the interactive broker's logo. Double-click the logo to connect your account. If you are a day trader, you might consider swing trading. Swing trading on a higher time frame, for example, a four-hour time frame is sure to beat day trading. Higher time frames cut out the market noise, keep you less busy, and take a lot of pressure off you as you do not have to stick to your computer always. I have made a video on swing trading recently, and I have no doubt that it will be of great help to you. If you have time, check it out. The link is in the description. That is all for today. Please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Check out my other videos on money, trading, and investing on YouTube. Goodbye.